Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm Christine, and this is Carlos. We are Ninth Island Connection, a weekly lifestyle television show all about Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see or you can watch our television show wherever you are. And if you're familiar with our channel, you know that this little guy comes to Vegas with us all the time. And this has been happening since 2018. So I'd like to say we're kind of a little bit on the experts. Oh, Carlos gets me I would right definitely here. say we're at expert level as far as dog-friendly Vegas. Yes, so we do get a lot of questions about bringing a dog to Vegas. And in this video, we're gonna share what it's like bringing a dog with to Vegas and some things to kind of help you make that decision if it's right for you to bring your dog to Vegas. So this video is for those people who are thinking about bringing their dogs to Vegas, or if you just love Carlos and wanna see a little bit of Carlos. If you're not a fan of dogs and you don't think dogs belong in Vegas. Just stop watching right now. Yeah. We're fine, we will yeah. not be offended. All that we ask is that you be kind and respectful in the comments. If this is not a video for you, then just head on out. In addition to traveling to Vegas with Carlos, we travel all over. Carlos has been on many road trips and flights. He actually has been on 44 flights. So while in this video we're just focusing on Vegas, feel free to ask any other questions about traveling with dogs in the comments below. Now we know you guys came here to check Carlos out, so here he is. You know your dog, so you decide if it's a good idea to bring your dog to Vegas. Just like people, some dogs can't handle Vegas. For us, we know Carlos just chills in the room. He doesn't chew things, he doesn't bark, he doesn't have accidents. And we know that we can take him out with us and he's happy to be out with us. We lucked out as his two older sisters who were bigger dogs and who've passed away, they were quite a pair to walk, let alone travel with. So you decide if your dog's up for the trip to Vegas. Choosing a pet-friendly hotel on the Strip, you're gonna have these options. Caesars Palace, Harrah's, The Link, Flamingo, Cromwell, Horseshoe, Paris, Planet Hollywood, Rio, Mandalay Bay, Luxor, Excalibur, MGM, New York, New York, Park MGM, Vidara, Bellagio, Mirage, Cosmopolitan, Circus Circus, and The Win. Now, the following properties are not pet friendly on the Strip. That's gonna be Aria, Waldorf, Treasure Island, Sahara, The Strat, Resorts World Las Vegas, and Venetian. Again, they are not pet friendly. The Palms, Gold Coast, and Orleans are not pet friendly either. Now, when it comes to downtown, only Golden Nugget, and the downtown grand are pet friendly. In the arts district, you do have the English. Now these all have their own pet policies and fees, so visit the specific properties website for that information. Now, if you've been to Vegas, you know it's not the cleanest of places. So what we recommend is bringing dog wipes with. They sell those all over the place at any pet stores, Target, Walmart, etc. You can get wipes for your dog and you can wipe your dog off and keep those little paws clean, um, especially if your dog is like Carlos and wants to be on furniture. The pet friendly properties on the strip have designated dog relief areas. Just like the hotels, some are nicer than others. Harrah's, The Link, Flamingo and Caesars all have fenced in areas where places like Planet Hollywood, Paris, Horseshoe and Cromwell do not for the Caesars properties. It's the same for MGM. Bellagio, Vidara and Park MGM have fenced in areas where the other MGM properties do not. Some of the areas are more shady than others, so keep in mind it can the turf can get really hot in the sun. The areas are typically turf 
and they do have a trash can with bags. However, it is hit and miss when it comes to the cleanliness. Some of the pet relief areas are a little closer to the properties and seem a little bit safer than others as well. You won't find a dog park on the strip. The closest would be the dog relief area at Vidara. And one thing to point out is that even though they most of the time the properties will have bags in the dog relief areas, it's not a guarantee. So it's a good to bring your own just in case. In our opinion, it is more dog friendly on the strip versus downtown outside of the actual dog friendly properties. Something you're going to want to keep in mind is your dog's comfort in the room. You're going to want to bring familiar things like their own bed, their own blanket, a kennel, some of their favorite toys, and even their own food dishes. Carlos used to dump his water and food over when we used to have separate travel dishes. So we started bringing his own food and water bowl from home. Never had a problem since. We always bring his toys. Uh, we leave the TV on for sound when we're not in the room. We give him a treat when we leave, and we do add a do not disturb sign on the door. These are some things that we know make him comfortable. So keep that in mind. You want the room to be like their space at home. Next up is keeping your dog safe. So you definitely wanna make sure you're watching them at all times. There's just lots of gross stuff on the ground and on the floor around in Vegas. So you wanna make sure that you keep an eye on your dog so that they don't get into any of that. Um, we also do a room sweep the first thing when we check into a room to make sure that there's nothing on the floor that was happened to be missed by housekeeping for him to get into. Um, he's really good at sniffing around and showing us anything he shouldn't eat, so we just kind of let him go and watch him. We also give him bottled water since, you know, if we wouldn't drink the water from the faucet, we're not going to have him drink it either. Just don't want him to get sick. And of course, it's Vegas, so you know there's a lot of loud, drunk people um, partying and having a good time, and that's fine. Um, and they, But they do get very excited to see a dog, so you got to be prepared to kind of set those boundaries for your dog because people will want to pet him or her um, and they may not be the most sober so you just you know want to be aware of that. Now 99% of the people that we meet that want to come up and say hi to Carlos are just fine and he loves it, they love it, we love it and so it's typically not an issue however just want to throw it out there that that can be an issue because Again, it's Vegas and people are here partying. Now, you see Carlos all the time sitting on my lap. You do want to keep in mind that it is hot in the summer and cold in the winter. So plan on your dog spending a lot more time indoors during those months. Part, this is partly why you see Carlos in his bag all the time. And despite how much we have him out, like you see here, we are very selective on when he's out of the room. Now, when I do take him out to the pet areas, I'm always mindful of how early it is, how hot it is, and what time of day that pet area is going to be in the shade. So I do take them out first thing in the morning before it gets too warm. I take them out in late afternoon when I know that the pet areas are going to be in the shade. And I just take them out, he does his thing, and I bring them back into the AC or the warmer area inside when it is cold outside. I also take them out late in the evening at night um, because I know that it's cooler outside as well. So keep that in mind when you're bringing your pet to Vegas.
Vegas can be loud and crowded. So that's why we choose to carry Carlos most of the time because of the crowds and also because of the temperatures. Sometimes it's the pavement would be too hot for him. And just like I mentioned before, Vegas is kind of dirty. So we choose to carry him. He does love his bag and it's a comfort for him. Um, and he's just not really phased by all the craziness of Vegas when he's in it. If your dog wouldn't enjoy the noise or the crowds, it may be best to limit time out as well as avoiding the crowded areas. Now we will walk Carlos down from the room to go out to the dog relief areas to just get a little bit of exercise, but those areas are typically less crowded. And what he's taught us after all of these trips to Vegas is that he gets really excited when he's on a leash and wants to pull. He also wants to sniff everybody. And if there's jingling keys, he will jump at the person with jingling keys because that is a trigger for him. So again, the bag is our friend and he loves it. Lastly, being respectful and responsible. Now, we know not everyone likes dogs, so we are always very mindful of where he goes with us, and he's so used to being around people that he's pretty much always on his best behavior. We do take him into the casino, we take him into restaurants and bars that allow him, we don't sneak him in, we want to make sure that pets are allowed, and we do take him into outdoor areas like the Link Promenade, in his bag. We do not let him roam around. We don't feed him at the table. We don't do any of those things. He pretty much sees these activities as nap time because that's pretty much what he does. We have been to many places where our server didn't even realize that we had a dog until we were leaving. We have seen other dogs barking aggressively as well as peeing on the casino floor. That does happen. We do everything that we can to avoid that from happening. And thankfully, none of that has happened with Carlos. We totally understand the desire to bring your dog with, and we hope that this is informative. We also have traveled all over with Carlos. As crazy as Vegas can be, it really has become a dog-friendly destination. All right, guys. Well, that's a wrap on this one. We hope that you at least found a little bit of useful information. But if you have experienced bringing your own pet to Vegas and we missed something, Comment below, share your thoughts with everybody else that's watching this video, trying to make a decision on whether or not they should bring their pet to Vegas. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already to our channel and be sure to check out that description below to see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. We're also all over social media. Um, you know the places, Instagram, Facebook, all those places. We're Ninth Island Connection. Check us out. And we do go live every single Wednesday. And during that live, we bring you an update on what to expect that upcoming week weekend. So if you're coming in on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, check us out on Wednesday. We'll tell you everything that's going on in Vegas. Bye, guys. Four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.